what I'm going to talk today is uh, not more of science, but uh, more of uh, how to make these photographs beautiful. You can get a lot of science out of it, definitely. I mean, uh, the whole idea of doing astrophotography is definitely science, but uh, you can actually make them beautiful. Uh, you can actually make them really beautiful. We are all fascinated with space. We look at stars, we look at moon. I mean, moon is the first thing, obviously, that we all get fascinated with as a child. This is a Milky Way that you can see with naked eye, not as bright as this, again, because our eyes are not so sensitive. But let me tell you, not close to Mumbai, but if you actually go to some dark places, you can see shadow of yourself by the light of Milky Way. You can actually see the shadow of yourself, just as moonlight casts a shadow. You can actually see your shadow because of the Milky Way. Now, what kind of equipment I need for this? Now, you'll be surprised to know, this is all I have used. No telescope, nothing. All I have used is a plain camera with 18mm kit lens. That's it. You, with this simple equipment, you can actually go and take Milky Way photos. It's as simple as that. I, I'm still not sure what I should call myself. I'm more of an amateur <laughs> astronomer than a professional astronomer, though I have earned a PhD in astronomy. But still, so uh, to be very frank, most of the astronomers, professional astronomers, don't really go out for night sky observation at all. <laughs> No one, because it's not needed, to be very frank. You have telescopes for working for you and you get data right on your computers. So the work is actually to uh, sit in your cozy lab with a cup of coffee and work on the data and do nothing more. So you don't really need to spend nights out. But uh, as I said, this is more of my passion. I just, it just makes me happy just going out under the night sky and just staring at the sky. Like, it just makes me happy. <laughs>